the mass, the masses, you know, of the post-war period have things. So they don't just dutifully go to culture and, you know, tip their hat or whatever and then and then leave. They actually want to have a part of it. The, the post-war, you know, Western experience has been about um, the democratization of, of, of possession. Um, and to some extent, I, I think also um, enlightenment, empowerment, education through possession. You know, I grew up entirely uh, through learning about things, through having them in some way. You know, whether it was books or, 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 or print or, or clothes or furniture, the, the whole experience has been about sharing in that kind of mass cultural experience. And, and it absolutely is a, is a learning curve. You, you, you start somewhere and it leads you somewhere. I mean, the, you know, the digital editions for art is, is a completely um, logical consequence of the now. There is, you know, this increasingly aware and keen and interested audience for art now. So, you know, the audience that 30 years ago would, would you know, would, would buy a record because of its cover or a book for its cover or go and see a particular film, um, the, the, the audience who, were, who would engage in, in, in the alternative arts, uh, you know, are now the, the audience for, for contemporary fine art. And, um, and it's, I mean, to my mind, it is entirely logical for them to have something, for, 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 for ordinary people, you know, not the rich, to become collectors. It's, it, it seems uh, instinctive to our times for, for people to, um, well, to own, to consume, you know. I mean, that's how I grew up. My record covers were for people to have, and they became possessions that people valued having. And I think it is entirely um, uh, timely for people, for things to exist in forms that people can have. So, you know, the, 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 the multiples notion that has been trying to push itself forward since the 60s seems, you know, more more timely than ever and, and in a way the digital multiple which you know sedition are exploring is is in a way the, the the modern version of that i think that the medium in which a work is going to exist um influences enormously the possibilities of the work so so the the, the particular piece that i've uh, have with sedition at the moment after closer um started as a print um it, it, as a work, it's a reflection on a passage of time. So it's a reflection on on a passage of of, of time in my own life, a transition period that's a um, parallel with a transition period of people I worked with. Um, it's it's about the 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 period between the late seventies and mid eighties when when Joy Division. transition into new order and the circumstances which bring that about and running parallel with that experience of theirs is is the transition an aesthetic transition in in my own work and so it's a period where one goes from the sort of monochromatic of of the the new wave to the sort of polychromatic of of what becomes neo geo in the mid to late late eighties, um, and and the work um, in a way reflects and records that transition. Doing the work, realizing the work in the digital format, it becomes something that it couldn't be in print, and and so you know if you're going to work. Um, you know, in, in in bronze or in digital. I mean, you have to. The work has to find itself in that medium and, and explore the, the medium properly. So, so you know, the after closer digital edition could not. It could not be in any other form.